Hi there and welcome to the show. I'm the Tarantula Enthusiast. Enjoy the free ride covering all things tarantula related. In this episode we will show you 5 tarantulas you've never heard of before. You don't think so. Keep on watching. Number 5. A newly discovered Red Samapoas from Colombia. Not much is known about this species despite the fact that public records go back to the year of 2018. It appears that the adult male of this arboreal tarantula has a red coloration, and the female potentially is velvet black. As with other members of this genus Samapoas it is in urgent need of a revision with additional records from both Central and South America. There are at least three new species of Samapoas known from Mexico and additional ones from Ecuador and Colombia face the public. The adult males differ greatly to the geographically closest species from the same genus Samapoas. You'll see a picture here. Number 4. Megaphobma tessi. A giant goliath bird eating sized tarantula with a horn, or better said, a cone. This tarantula is a unique in its morphological features and has not yet been established within the pet trade. They inhabit the lowland rainforest area of the Amazon in Brazil, and potentially also in Peru. Only a handful pictures are available in the public and the natural history data is even more of a mystery. It's thought to be a close relative to M. velvetosoma which has been documented to prey on small mammals in the wild. The size of the tarantula makes them a true giant of the rainforest for sure. The fun thing about this species is that pictures were shown on tarantula hobby sites in 2010 roughly 11 years ago under the name of the cone tarantula. The scientific description of this species was in the year of 2006 by the arachnologist Perez Milas and colleagues. Number 3. A tarantula native to the country of Vietnam. First official record for an arboreal tarantula from Vietnam documented with pictures and live specimens. This is truly a very important find as it extends the range of arboreal members of the subfamily Ornithoctonini further north. Tarantula species Fan K are slowly getting available in the pet trade due to local breeding efforts from Vietnamese hobbyists. So be sure to place that species on your wish list and ask your trusted seller in the US, Canada or Europe for advice. Since we are on YouTube, please make sure to subscribe to the channel like the video and leave a comment. Thanks for helping us out and let others know what type of videos we create. Bonus Tarantula Every species of the genus Hapilotromus gets an honorable mention. These highland tarantulas native to Argentina, Bolivia, and Peru are truly unique and not present within the pet trade. Breeding efforts would most likely be very unsuccessful since they live in altitudes well over 9,000 feet or 4,000 meters. The climate up there is harsh and almost impossible to imitate in captivity. For now these tarantula species are best admired from pictures and videos from people who observe them in the wild. Number 2. A new species of tarantula where no known genus or species fits the appearance. This tarantula species from the urticating hair possessing subfamily Theropocene is one of its kind. Although there have been breeding efforts in 2018 within Europe, the species never got established and it is not known if it's still available in the pet trade. This tarantula species is thought to be an important missing link regarding the relationship of Syriacosmus and other smaller type 3 urticating hair tarantulas alike. There aren't any additional pictures to share that are publicly available. Let's hope for a bright future for this tarantula species from Peru. Number 1. A Vietnamese tarantula from the subfamily of Ornithoctonini. This tarantula species has already entered the European pet trade due to local breedings within the country of origin Vietnam. This fossorial tarantula has a unique look while every word used to describe it would be misplaced. With the current hobby name of silver, the sheen between the yellow and blue seti is mentioned. For all of you familiar with the new Vietnamese species called Hansage or Slava, this tarantula called silver is definitely a close relative. Because of the distinct coloration of the spiderlings in young age and the completely blue appearance as adult specimens they appear to be not conspecific. Time will tell when all these Vietnamese tarantulas get classified and named. Arachnologists from the Western Hemisphere and Vietnam are planning to collaborate and hope to present some results in 2023. A special mention to the Vietnamese tarantula community. It is amazing to see the enthusiasm and professionalism of some of you. Thanks for making a valuable contribution to the tarantula community, and be sure to protect your wildlife and treat it with respect. Without the picture and information contribution this video would not have been possible. Thanks. That was it. Thanks for watching the second episode on this newly created channel. It would be great when you become one of our first subscribers. Tell your friends, leave a comment and subscribe.